yeah, same as yours. Who knew? You know, you know what big a task it's going to be like. Um, it's going to be an incredibly tough game, but it's uh, one that we're we're looking forward to, and one that I suppose we can take a little bit of confidence off over the last few times we've played them. Yeah, you want to have the second against the Mall of Ginger, the keys to land up. Uh, I, I suppose to be clinical, you know, uh, whenever you do get a chance to, to try and take it. Um, sounds easy, but uh, it's a lot harder to do against uh, such a quality team. And, uh, you know, if you can do that, uh, you give yourself a chance. And obviously, your defence has to be, yeah, top, the, the best it is. Um, you know, we've got to be at our best in that regard and in our discipline and inspections as well. So, uh, you know, that's pretty much the whole game. So we need to be uh, pretty close to as good as we can be in all aspects to, to get the result that we want. You mentioned taking that confidence. Ireland obviously never won quarter final. Is that balanced out or is it a completely different game each time you come to the game? Um, well, I'm hoping that having lost the pool game that we've got that sort of quarter final performance out of our system that we've had in other years. Um, you know, against, I suppose, the, the way we played against Japan is probably very similar to the way we played against um, you know, Wales and Argentina over the last two quarterfinals. Um, there were differences that were, were, I suppose, were not favourites going into this quarterfinal like we were in the last two. Um, so we've, we're building nicely. Uh, we haven't sort of hit our best performance yet. And uh, like I said, we need to get close to that to, to get the right result on Saturday. Does that help the best of that man in the match to win the World Cup? Yeah, but I think they're used to dealing with that. I think New Zealand are, are used to dealing with that pressure. Um, I watched that documentary they did on um, Amazon where they're beating teams by 40 points and they're still getting slated at home. Uh, so it's uh, that pressure, I suppose, is with them every time they pull on the jersey. So I don't think it would be much different for this team. Tony, how close are you to the performance that you produced on the now 11 months ago to beat the All Blacks? Uh, it's hard to tell. I think obviously we're, we're, we've been building, I think, uh, pretty well. Um, apart from that poor sort of 60 minutes against Japan, you know, everything else has pretty much gone to plan. Um, I suppose a lot of the negativity around us um, has, we feel, has been a little bit strange. But, uh, you know, we're pretty confident and pretty positive in, in how we've been building. Obviously, we'd like to be playing better at times in, in some regards. But uh, I think uh, hopefully we can put that out there and Saturday now. And what Japan did last night, was that kind of a laying some of uh, those thoughts where you feel that you, know, you come in for undue criticism of what aren't the No, like we're, we're very we're very self-critical. Like we're, we're critical of ourselves in terms of our performances. And obviously after the Japan game, we would have liked to have done things differently. But we kind of knew what good a team Japan were. So uh, we always knew that that could happen if we didn't play well. And it did happen. So. Uh, yeah, I think looking at the game last night, I think Japan were excellent again, and they have been through the whole tournament. They were clinical, they, they were brilliant with the ball. You know, the, every time Scotland gave it to them, they, they seemed to hold it for sort of 20, 30 phases. It was, uh, it was pretty impressive. So uh, I'm sure they'll go on and, and really trouble South Africa. Just in terms of the, the squad last night, what was the chance to play after the, the results? Like, obviously, it was known that you were going to take some the team. We, we kind of thought beforehand it was going to be a big a big ask for us not to play New Zealand. Um, so we, we were kind of half prepared for it. Um, so it was fairly, fairly normal, really. I think guys just the final whistle went to me and said, OK, uh, as expected, and uh, off we went today. Um, um, do you think New Zealand will be a different animal in this um, match this weekend? Because it, do you think they sort of go up a level? Because you know, they're obviously past nothing with how they formed in some parts across the last four years, but I think the, the team there uh, like this was trying to play with even more width and pace than previously. Do you think it'd be an even tougher test now than it would have been from the times you played them in the last couple of years? Yeah, we, we know that as well. Like, when we faced them, it's been in November at the end of their season, whereas now it's, I suppose it's about as many, many races to the end of the season. Uh, so nothing's changed there, sorry about that. Uh, the, uh, I suppose there's a Probably been a little bit fresher. They've been looked after better this year, um, but they will be. Uh, look, I'm sure top class. You know, we're expecting them to bring their best. They will in the quarter final, um, but that I suppose what will be very special if we can get the win because you know often, like I said, in November series they're tired end of the season. Their holidays coming up and maybe they've had a bit of an excuse, but 
this this year there this week will be uh you know they'll be trying their best out there. And you've been building as well, and obviously Joe's made no secret of the fact that he tried to um, learn lessons from last time and, and get you guys in 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 the right place to compete for this week effectively. And going in with everybody fit and coming to some form, you must have a lot of confidence going into this week. Yeah, it makes a big difference to have everyone fit, even just for the quality of training. I remember. Uh, that Argentina week, you know, we had to rely on guys like Vinny and Shuckers to be running against us, and it wasn't the best quality opposition we could have, <laughs> uh, physically and personally. Uh, so it was uh, that was probably the reason we lost Argentina. Uh, but this week we have everyone fit, so we've two good sides of training, and you know we'll be able to make the most of it. Johnny, just on your own personal form, obviously being around, you seem to be really back to close to your best. How do you feel it's going to go? You never feel too far away from your best. You know, you just feel sometimes things just don't go your way um, in one regard or another, you know, a niggle or two, or, um, you know, sometimes a 10, you can make mistakes that uh, might look like your fault, and they often aren't. Often you can make mistakes that are totally your fault, but, um, yeah, I never lost confidence in what I can do and uh, I don't think much tens do lose confidence um, you know when they go through bad patches you know you just know that they're part and parcel and you, you come out the other side and um, like I was happy with some parts uh, on Saturday and um, other parts like to, to brush up a few things on for New Zealand and um, we'll need to play I'll need to play better on Saturday and and we all will um, to get the right result. No mistakes would be your fault, would it? Vinny, <laughs> 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 uh, Johnny mentioned the you know the lads were more or less expecting New Zealand and ready for it. But from an analysis point of view, at what point do you guys start prepping the work for whoever the team's going to face? So in terms of you know how much work have to go into prepping New Zealand, prepping for South Africa, how far back do you go? I think well, as soon as the draw was made, you know the likelihood is you'll face New Zealand or South Africa. Um, so for us, really, we've been planning that for, I suppose, a year because it'd be completely, uh, we just wouldn't have enough time if we got up this morning and we're like, okay, right, we'll have a look at New Zealand. So, um, yeah, look, it's it's a long way out, but you, you have to plan right the way through to a final as well from an analysis point of view, because if we were to get there, you only have a week to, to prep and you, you, you have to have that done before you get there. It's not realistic that you go anywhere else. So. Johnny, kind of on that point, um, from a Joe Schmidt playbook point of view, how much are we yet to see in this year's World Cup? Um, yeah, I'm sure he's. Uh, well, I'll find out in about an hour um, when we get the, the game plan stuff. But uh, yeah, well, I'm sure we'll have something different uh, for New Zealand. You know, in in terms of off set piece, um, off phase play. You know, things that we have been. Uh, holding back a little bit, but you know we've had to make sure that we've prepared well for Scotland and Japan, um, and I suppose the, the great confidence we can take from every time we do, you know, take that game plan and do it to the best of our ability, we often come out on the right side of the, the scoreboard. So, um, the, the game where we've fallen down is when we look back and go, "Oh, we just didn't quite nail what we were we were asked of there. We didn't quite nail what we were asked of here." And uh, yeah, so that will be the that will be the key this week is, is is doing that to the best of our ability. Johnny, uh, you touched on some of the negativity around the performances, presumably pre Samoa. Is that something that's been a talking point amongst the squad? No, it's not. It's not a talking point. It's something that we just get a sense of, you know, when you get text saying "keep the head up." We're, we're still behind you. Uh, <laughs> you get a feeling that there's some things out there that aren't great. Um, and you know, Shukers gives us the lowdown when before we come in here what to expect. Uh, so we know that uh, you know things weren't uh, great, but when you, it's funny when you compare things to some people trying to compare it to 07 when they just scraped past Namibia and we beat Georgia or, or Russia 35 0. Um, how there can be comparisons there, I'm not quite sure. Um, in totally different conditions, but um, look, we're, we are where we are. Uh, we, we, we're exactly where we want to be in terms of quarter final, and now we're going to do everything we can for this week to, to put ourselves out there, and and hopefully that can get us the right result. We know that we could play to our potential and still not get it, so we, we just got to make sure we do our part and uh, and really go for it. Quick last one. Yeah, the previous World Cup, Johnny, obviously, you've never been 
never beaten uh, in New Zealand. He's never beaten points since the last World Cup. That changes everything purely <coughs> from the squad point of view. You know, you must really fancy this. Well, we don't. It's not that we fancy it. They're, we know they're the best team in the world, and we've got to play our best to get there. I think we can take a little bit of confidence from the fact that uh, we have we. We've sort of got that monkey off our back, and, and we've we've done it a couple of times, um, which gives us you know that belief. Um, but this is a quarter final of a World Cup, and you know things are different. I think even if we hadn't beaten them, you know anything can happen in a quarter final. We've seen that over the years with even with the All Blacks, um, we've seen it. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm not sure how much more I can say. We, we're we're looking forward to it, and uh, like I said, we just got to concentrate on our getting our. Our be the best version of the Irish team out there and, and uh, see if that's good enough.